Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Darren Larry, and I'm coming back at you with a brand new YouTube video, boy. We just hit 5,000 subscribers! Let's go, baby! Dude, I am so freaking hyped. Oh my God, I can't thank you all so, 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 so much from the bottom of my heart. Oh my God, man. It just feels like yesterday I had like less than 100 subscribers and I... I never thought I would ever hit 5,000 subscribers. That means there's 5,000 people of you that enjoy my content, that wanna follow me, that are subscribed to me, yada, yada, whatever it might be, but you guys enjoy the content. So thank you all so much. I know not all 5,000 of you watch my videos, but hey, I am super, super grateful that I have 5,000 people that are behind me, that are supporting me. Anyways, boys, I just pulled up to my house. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my car. I'm gonna give you guys a little outside look. This thing is super, super dirty. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's kind of overcast, so kind of cloudy. Anyways, today is currently Tuesday, I believe. I have some Funko Pops arriving today. I'm also gonna retune my car. As many of you guys know that do watch my car videos, I have this car tuned to 91, so I'll only pump 91 gas on this car. It's on a race tune, so basically, everything is heightened i'm gonna go ahead and retune it back to 87 that's what the car originally takes it is currently 8 35 in the morning so yeah let's go ahead and uh wash this car but before i do that just gonna give you guys a quick walkthrough of the car so you guys can see that i'm not joking this car is freaking filthy filthy abby look at that god damn holy fuck hold on let me get you a front view God, damn, this bitch filthy. Look at all that layer of fucking dirt. Sheesh, my boy. Let's get this car cleaned up. Give you guys a little before look. All done. Sheesh. I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't done this in a really long time, so we're gonna go ahead and do this together. So obviously when you plug it in, it automatically boots up. So it says, program vehicle, street use notice. This device is not legal for sale or use in California. On any pollution control motor vehicles, press continue to start programming. Turn the vehicle's ignition key to the on position or push hold, do not start the engine. Press continue when ready. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just press the start button. So then you get redirected to this menu. It says 91 performance race tune. That's what I'm on right now. So I wanna go back to 87 performance tune. So what basically what these numbers mean is if you put on 91, you can only pump gas higher than 91 octane. And if you put 87, you can only pump 87. I mean, sometimes you can pump 91, but there wouldn't be no point on pumping 91 when you're on 87 okay so we're gonna go ahead and hit continue processing data this might take some time so i mean it saddens me that i have to do this but gas is super super expensive for 91 so i'm basically forced to do this previous tune options changes found load changes to tune option list global spark yeah whatever basically everything that i uh sent to bama performance tune for them to tune my car i'm gonna go ahead and approve it and 87 performance tune yes so it's gonna go ahead and program the vehicle now so now all we have to do is wait and once it's ready to go we can go ahead and turn on the car and then we can start pumping 87 gas on it yeah the car starts acting up like really strange once it's uh being programmed it just starts flickering all the lights like it advanced track service uh gives you a bunch of stuff uh check engine light so yeah go ahead and hit continue processing data unlocking processor it takes about less than five minutes to tune your car so i'm always gonna have the 91 race tune so whenever gas does go um does go down gets a lot cheaper i'll go ahead and retune it back to 91 but for now i think i'm gonna keep it at 87 because i'd be driving this car like it's a grandma car like i'd be like babying it so much so there's really no point on pumping 91 
um, only if you're like out there racing or trying to like speed down the highway or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to keep it at 87. It performs a little less than what it should, but it's okay. Like I said, I baby this car. So we're going to go ahead and let it process this Now this step is probably going to take a while. I want to give or take about five minutes. Uh, just because obviously you haven't even seen this number change yet. So it's going to take a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this. Oh, actually, no. Whatever, I'll pick this video back up once it's done. All right, guys, once I'm done downloading the tune onto the car, I'm going to go ahead and drive to Costco and grab some gas from there. Actually, I might have to wait for my mom. She want to go drop off my little brother to school. Uh, so I have to wait for her because she has a Costco card and I don't. Anyways, my mom just pulled up. I don't know if you guys can see her. She's pulling up right there in that little rear view mirror. So yeah, I'm going to go. Oh, and I think my Funko Pops arrived. Holy crap. UPS man just pulled up right there. So hopefully he's going to drop off my Funko Pops and then I can show you guys what I picked up from the New York Comic Con. Other than that, my mom's over here slapping tough. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Costco card from her. And then I'm going to show you guys. Oh, I think it is my Funko Pops. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys my Funko Pops real quick. And um, I'm going to collect the Costco card from my mom. Yeah, doggy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put you guys right there while I unbox this. I uh, opened it up off camera because Woo! there she is 99% cars alive oh what the hell all right let me show you guys what I got real quick from the New York Comic Con so there it is I got Goku Ultra Instinct with Comic Kamehameha so this is a New York Comic Con pop Obviously, it has a shared exclusive sticker. If you actually went to the convention, it'd be a different sticker. So those that go to the convention, obviously, you're able to buy them. And they come with a different sticker. And their value is whew, through the roof. So these are a little cheaper. You know, still same price when you buy them. Uh, but their resale value is a lot cheaper than, than an actual New Year Comic Con sticker. So like I said, these are the shared exclusive stickers. And that's how they look. So this one is a pretty nice pop. Now, I don't plan on keeping this Funko Pop. I don't know. I'm still debating on it. Uh, what I like to usually look for when I get these Funko Pops is any defects on the box. Because that, when it comes to people that are collecting Funkos, the value of them can really, really go down if there's something wrong with the box. Like, let's say there's a dent or a rip or a tear on the box. So, yeah, this box is pretty clean. So, we're going to go ahead and set that over here. Actually, that's going to fall down. Let me set it down over here. Um, now, as for my second one that I picked up, this one I'm actually really excited for. I'm not sure if I want to sell this one. I'll be honest with you. Uh, right off the get-go, I can already see a defect. I don't think you guys are going to be able to spot that on the camera. There's like a... Oh, I thought you could see it. Anyways, there's like a little gash on the bottom. A lot of people that, you know, collect Funko Pops, they look for that. But sometimes you can get away with it. People will just be like, whatever. You know, I, I just want the Funko Pop itself. I don't care if the box is messed up. Um, but yeah, this... I don't know about this one, man. This pop looks amazing let me show you guys real quick now this is cell second form obviously this is like i said a shared exclusive sticker from new york comic con this is the 2022 fall convention this is one of my favorite uh forms from cell this is definitely a dope dope funko definitely gonna keep this one if the price is right i'll sell it um if it's not then i'm definitely gonna keep it as as far as goku goes I might keep Goku too. Just because I've been watching a lot of uh, Dragon Ball Z lately. I just finished the season. And I'm waiting for the second season. But they're not sure when they're going to release it. So, you know, it is what it is. So, honestly, I think I'm going to keep these pops. I'm going to wait till the value goes up. You know, I am a Funko Pop collector. But when it comes to Funko Pops, I mainly collect only Star Wars. 
And that's it. Uh, I am going to get into some anime. Obviously, Dragon Ball Z starting it off. I do have another uh, Goku upstairs in my room. That's just Ultra Instinct. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Super dope pops. I'm going to go ahead and put them back in their pop protectors. Make sure they don't get messed up. Don't get any dents on them. See, now this is a pretty good Funko Pop protector, right? And then you go ahead and look at the one that came with uh, Goku. What the hell is this? Did they run out of freaking Funko Pop protectors? You already know what we're about to do. Let's go get some gas. All right, y'all, just pulled up to Costco. I'm going to go ahead and fill her up. As you guys can see, I only got 15 miles to empty, and that boy is empty. So let's go ahead and pump some gas. All right, guys, I just finished pumping gas. I'm on my way to, what's that place called? Mr. Car Wash? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum this car up because it's kind of dirty and throw some stuff away, vacuum the seats, yada, yada, get this car ready for the week. And yeah, hopefully I still have time to, you know, live stream later. But right now it is currently 11. I still need to go buy groceries so I can make food. And I still have to make the food to take to work today. So I don't know if I'm going to have time, but hopefully I do. Fingers crossed I do. If I don't, I mean, it is what it is. I'll just do it tomorrow. I'll live stream tomorrow. But for sure, this video, I'm going to try to get it uploaded by tomorrow. So if you see this tomorrow, drop a like down below. Also, leave a comment. If you guys mess with the videos, if you guys want to see more videos of the car, more car content, let me know down in the comment section. This lady had to put her kid in the car because I almost smacked him. Oh, there he is trying to open the door again. I just pulled up to the uh, car wash slash vacuum place. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum my car. It needs a good vacuum. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to head to the grocery store. And I'm going to pick up some groceries and then head back make the groceries, prep my food, take it to work, go to work, yeah. Bro, I get off in like 17 minutes. <laughs>